So what, what kind of phone are you, you're using right now? What do you have on you? It's both. I have a couple of iPhones on me. On, right, on you right now? Yeah. You have two iPhones? Yeah. It solves the battery problem. <laughs> All right. Now that's a, you have a white, hold on. You have a white, there's a white iPhone here. Where'd you, where'd you get the white iPhone from? <laughs> you know, those are, you know, those actually aren't for sale, you know, right? You know, I actually had dinner last night with the guy here in New York, a young teenager in high school who sold the parts over online. And I got on as quick as I could and ordered them, and I got lucky. I got my parts. A friend of mine missed out on getting his. He I mean, Apple's them. going after this guy. It's this a beautiful, beautiful phone, actually. And, and, but, and so but, you put, you, so you, this but, is not, look, from, this I is not paid, from, from Apple. I paid good money. In other words, I didn't get something for free that I'm supposed to pay for. And, well... They do have Apple logos on. Apple made the parts, kind of. And did, somebody, did, did some, somebody, somebody at Foxconn in China disobeyed a dis instruction to destroy them, I'm sure. They're bad parts. It takes bad flash photos. The proximity sensor doesn't work, so your head is pressing against the screen, going beep, beep, pushing buttons. So, it, so, so it's, is it's that, a, it's a substandard phone so do you that think way. That's, do you think that's why that they're, not, they're not available, the white iPhones? No, they're going to become available. So but, I mean, all the indications it, are from Verizon and... and GSM suppliers, white iPhones are coming. But these parts were, def the early parts Apple made were defective, so Apple decided not to actually put them out. Well, somebody found some parts. And a lot of parts. A few I of mean. us, and did some good. <laughs> they didn't steal from me. They gave me something I wanted, a chance to get it. I mean, I'd happily return it to Apple if they asked, and I'd give them all the money back, too. I, I mean, I would, I would pay the money a second time. But you, doesn't make sense. Well, you get, you get the paycheck, but, so it, all, it would, all works out. No, no, no. I, this, this kid is so just young and he kind of didn't know that what he's doing is legal. He goes to a high school and he's the only guy in his whole high school who reads the gadget blogs. Not one other That's gadget a person there. That's a Listen, people. <laughs> Tell everybody in high school to read gadget blogs. And, and, you know, everybody young wants to be an entrepreneur these days. And here's somebody that just went out and did something. He crossed, okay, he went over a line. Slap his wrist. Should be put down. They want to take all the money back that he made, you know, to put himself through a school and Apple help his does? family. He had lawyers can't, dealing can't with him. him. Can't you put and I think, they, I think this is one case where, if there's ever a case where a lawyer could be nice, be nice. But, you that's know, not, as long as there's the, a cent left. That's not, that's not a lawyer's job, is it? As long as there's a cent left. No, but I'd be, willing to, I'd be willing to donate to his defense fund if one gets set up. And really? I think maybe one will. Oh, absolutely. You may have to start looking at your, this guy's your not bank a, account. He's not though. like a criminal <laughs> type. He's not a criminal type. He's very shy. He's almost afraid to talk to anyone. Uh, very hard to bring conversation out of. And he just... Um, and it kind of did a, a great thing in one sense, if it had been legal. Right, but <laughs> <laughs> there's just that one small problem of it being illegal. So, so you think these parts are, are, were manufactured for, I mean, specifically to be used in, the, in a production run of white iPhones? Yes, of course. Just, Apple, just Apple introduced the white iPhone. I mean, maybe some of us don't have memories of a few years back, but they introduced was, the white iPhone was 4. was a few years. The white iPhone 4, yeah, yeah <laughs> was, on, months, was yeah. on stage, but it never came out. It got dropped. Where did it go? Well, it was intended, but the, there were all sorts of reasonable rumors or assumptions that the parts weren't good. Are, had you, a problem, are you telling us do. right now that you know this for a fact? What? Are you, do you know that for a fact? That's no, what? The, I don't know the, anything the parts, inside the, the company. The parts are bad. <laughs> These parts are bad, yes, because the first thing I did when I got them, I had read that they had bad flash. I took a picture with flash and without. The one with flash was, off, was awfully, like you took it through cellophane. So then I took one with my white iPhone and my black iPhone using flash, and the white one was much worse. So, yeah, I compared right away. I, yeah. liked, I, I would like to sell And the proximity sensor is screwed up. So, 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 so basically, it's, it's a product that doesn't even have, and I violated my warranty. So Apple should almost not care. The guy didn't cause us any problems. Or don't you think they're, you are, never I, see these white phones. You know, the only other one I really saw, as I was flying out here from San Francisco airport, a guy coming off of a plane, oh, Mr. Wozniak, can I take my picture with you? He's a Brazilian. And he had a white iPhone to take the picture with. Where did that come from? Well, he got it from the same source. <laughs> <laughs> the illegal source. <laughs> uh, so, so, okay. You so guys like TechCrunch, don't you? We love TechCrunch. They're, yeah. they're a part that's of the, where, fam that's part where of the that's, family now. I guess that's where the guy got, expo got put on that he had these parts, and that's how I ordered it. Oh, you saw it on TechCrunch? I think so, somewhere. I saw it on somewhere, yeah. I think we wrote about it, too. Then I saw it on Engadget. <laughs> Engadget. So, let me, so... So I so I understand that you carry around, but you carry around a dumb phone with you, don't you? Don't you have like a razor? No, I know I have an Android phone of Droid X in my other pocket. You have and it on carry, you right now? Yes, and okay. I have a Verizon. It's Verizon. Yeah. So if AT and T isn't working, it's Verizon, the, and it's a MiFi built in. I pay for that. The Droid. But you don't have like, you, I, didn't you used to carry a razor or something that was kind of a dumb phone? Um, yes, for quite a while, I actually liked having a, uh, the smartphone of the iPhone and a razor for my phone calls. 
and it actually worked. I, it was a life that worked very well. I strung out the razor longer than almost anyone, and I actually but, liked it very much. But you got rid of it. I finally did. Yeah. You replaced it with it with the Droid X. The iPhone. There were just too many things, phone calls, that the razor methods and texting just didn't work as well as the iPhone. Right. Well, it is a razor. No, I've, I've had I've had a number. I've had Blackberries. I've replaced it with a couple Blackberries. I've had uh, the Palm Pre is kind of cute because the Palm Pre is the cheapest MiFi you could buy at Verizon for quite a while. Right. They sell a, a MiFi that's fifty bucks a month. The Palm Pre with a data plan was thirty bucks a month. That's all you'd have to pay. And the phone's and free. And it had a free MiFi built in. Yeah. So that was actually cheaper. And so I never found kind, anyone else who discovered you're that. Kind of a did. Palm Pre user. I, so I have a, I, I had a Pre. Well, the Pre battery only lasts about an hour, and the MiFi yeah, lasts five, a, four hours. It's a little bit of a, that's a little bit of a problem if you're using a hotspot for it to just die after an hour. Yeah.